all in all, yeah, I think this project has held up pretty well over the years. Sure, it is uh, a little messy, and it is obviously not Frank's best by any means whatsoever, but it is quaint, it is sweet, it is passionate. It's, it's totally an imaginative R&B album. The production is there, for the most part the songs are there, and to a lesser extent the execution is there. Popularity-wise, Frank is kind of really at the top right now when it comes to this style. Is he my favorite artist in this style? No, but I do like him a lot, a lot more than when I was just hearing Nostalgia Ultra. <laughs> I'm feeling a decent to strong seven on this LP. I think Frank uh, not only pleased me and came out with what I think musically and lyrically and instrumentally is a great record, but I think simultaneously pleased his fans and kind of gave them what they wanted. It definitely impressed me. Uh, I guess the only issue that wasn't an issue for me, but something that uh, I hope isn't an issue for other people, is that uh, I just kind of crossed my fingers and hope that uh, a lot of people didn't find the music too sleepy or too uneventful on this album, because uh, if you are a more patient listener, I think you are going to find a lot of things to like about this project. I'm feeling a decent to strong eight on this thing just really loved the fact that he was able to come at this record with a totally different creative mindset than he did on Blonde and pretty much have it be an equally fulfilling experience. In some ways, creatively, conceptually, stylistically, this has even more diversity than Blonde, as it seems like Frank is experimenting with more instrumentation, more genres, more samples, weirder sounds and effects and transitions, which is definitely up my alley personally, though I could definitely see why most people would enjoy the Blonde experience over the endless experience. I'm feeling a decent too strong eight on this record.